Hi, welcome to ERP Next video tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to manage taxes in the ERP Next. Taxes are the compulsory contribution to the state revenue applied by the government. When creating sales and purchase transactions, you will need to apply taxes on them. You can go about selecting taxes one by one like this. However, this will be repetitive and time-consuming task. To make it more efficient, you can create templates so that you can apply taxes faster. In ERP Next, Next, you can create an account for each tax type. Let's check how to set up a tax account in the Chart of Accounts. Chart of Accounts has various group and child accounts. Let's quickly add new tax account. Enter tax account name. Select account type as tax. Enter tax rate. Click on create new. Let's create a template for sales taxes and charges. In the search bar, enter new sales taxes and charges template. Give this template a name. Select type based on which this tax will be applied. If you are adding a charge for which calculation will be done based on net total, or some other value, then select option accordingly. Select tax account. Tax rate will be fetched from the tax account. Enter tax description. In the print format, this tax description will be displayed. If needed, you can also add other charges like shipping. For charges, you should select type as actual. Enter actual expense in the amount field. Save your sales taxes and charges master. Check default to have this tax template applied in the sales transactions automatically. On the same lines, you can also configure purchase taxes and charges template. You will be able to use it while creating purchase transactions like purchase order, purchase receipts and purchase invoice. To have tax master applied automatically based on a party's location, you can set tax rule. Let's create a new tax rule. Select tax type. Select tax template. Set filters as per your need. Save your tax rule. Now let's check how this tax rule is applied in the transactions. Create new sales order. Select customer. You can see the tax template has auto-fetched in this sales order. This is because, this customer's address matches with the condition defined in the tax rule. In the transactions, taxes mentioned will be applied on all the items. If you need to have different tax calculated for items in the same transaction, then here is how you can achieve it. Mention tax rate in the item master. In the tax template, set tax rate as zero. Let's create a sales order to check how tax calculation will be done in this case. Select customer. Select items. Select tax template where tax rates are mentioned as zero. Now we can see that on the first item, 
only 5% tax is applied, and on the second item, only 12% tax is applied. Hope you found this video tutorial useful. For more details and free sign up, go to erpnext.com. Thanks for watching.